need to give this to him. He's the only one who can save us. And you see, Steve, that's why medium tits are better than big or small tits. It's all pure aesthetics. Look, Crow, I respect your opinion, but it's obvious that small tits are just superior. That's facts. And see, it's thoughts like that that keeps you on the FBI watch list. So, I don't want to have anything to do with it. Huh. I think someone's at the door. Can you, uh, can you get it for me, please? Do you think I'm your goddamn slave or something? Just get the door. You make me go and damn it. Huh? What the hell is this? Hey, so what, what was at the door? Yeah, it was just some junk. Don't worry about it. Okay, well, I'm about to go to the park to play some Pokemon Go, so I'll hit you up a little bit later. What the hell is that? I, I need to go save him. What the hell is that? Hey, Crow, I figured you could go ahead and use this. So I'm supposed to fight the monster with this? You sure can, but don't ask me how I do it. Well, I've seen enough Power Ranger shows to know how it works, so let's go ahead and give it a go. Henshin. Lighter time. Yoi, all hail the king of cringe. God damn it, Steve, you know words hurt. Yes, but everything you just did hurt even more. I'm about to ride or kick my foot so far up your ass. Finish the time! Shit, Crow, you didn't have to do all that to him. I don't know what this is, but I think it might come in handy. Now, where'd that guy go? Okay, so I know you're probably wondering, what was up with that skit? Um, honestly, I've been into Kamen Rider for a bit now. I think ever since June or July, and I've watched about six series so far, and I really love it. I think the franchise is amazing, it's fun, it's goofy, it gets serious, it gets really dark. So I really want to just keep on watching it. And I thought, well, there's a lot of good Kamen Rider merchandise, including belts, uh, you have different figures, you have model kits, uh, statues. So I really want to explore that and maybe bring it onto the channel. Um, and I'm kind of asking if that's okay with you. Uh, I really don't want to bring something into this channel that I, I would say a vast majority of people are just not really going to be welcoming. So if everyone watching this video is, you know, I would love to know your comments if you are saying like, hey, definitely bring some Kamen Rider stuff to the channel to include skits that you just recently seen. And I'll do a lot of different reviews when it comes to the Figure I Standard line. It could be the uh, SH Figures or it could be the CSM uh, belts or even the DX belts. Uh, I definitely want to get more into it and 
I think this is just something that's going to make me feel a little bit better than just kind of keeping it all the same thing with Gumpla and a little bit of Kotobukiya. So I'm leaving it up to you guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. But I, w I do want to go over the figure eye standard Zio. So let's take a look at that. And here he is, looking amazing. I absolutely love this model. And if the, I would say if the SH Figure Arts wasn't as expensive as it was, I'll probably just go ahead and get that. But the scaling on this is going to be a little bit bigger and I kind of just like it a little bit better. Now we take a look at the head sculpt. You are gonna be having some clear pink for the visor, some black stickers is gonna go right over it, and then all the little like chrome, silver. Unfortunately, like it looks really good, but it is gonna have a lot of nubs, so you're either gonna have to paint the nubs, or you're gonna have to paint the whole thing, or just like do, like, do like I'm doing, and just live with the actual nub marks. Now the black is actually gonna be a very nice like matte finish. It looks good and it feels great. It feels like a really sturdy plastic. Now we're taking a look at the body. I think everything looks great. Uh, the, once again, the black matte is going to look fantastic. It actually looks like a suit and the silver is going to look like just as good. Uh, the number arcs aren't really that visible. Uh, it's kind of like more on the sides and you really have to look around for it. Uh, but the purple is looking really great. The pink is gonna be stickers, of course. But, I mean, hey, there's a lot of good details in here, so if you do want to paint or do any kind of, like, maybe weathering or something, you can go ahead and do that. Now we're looking at the arms. You are going to see the wrist watches right there, and they're going to have stickers. The pink is going to be stickers. Yeah, it, it is a lot of stickers on this kit, but the arms are fine, and everything looks really good, to be honest. Now with the Ziku driver, that is going to have stickers as well. So all three of those little colors on the white, that is stickers. So a little bit difficult to paint if you do want to paint it because it's just going to have a lot of, you know, details in those stickers. So it's going to be a little bit challenging, but hey, if you have the, you know, steady hand for it, definitely go ahead. But it is also going to be missing a lot of paint just all around the actual driver itself. And we're coming down to the legs. Um, the only problem I probably have is uh, really keeping a good balance with the legs. Like if I'm do doing like a basic standing pose like this, it's really no issue. But sometimes doing like a fighting pose, it's a little bit of a challenge. Uh, and the only stickers that you're really going to have is, of course, going to be that pink. So this thing doesn't have like an absurd amount of stickers, but it's, it's pretty evident of what is the stickers. Now for articulation, this is going to be on a ball joint. And I believe inside the neck, I really can't remember, but I believe inside the neck is going to be a ball joint or some kind of hinge of sorts. But I do believe it is a ball joint to allow it to move like that. Ball joint for the shoulder. Shoulder armor can move up. Swivel at the bicep. One point of articulation right here at the elbow. Hand is on a ball joint. Ball joint right here at the chest. Ball joint at the waist. Ball joint and a hinge right here at the hips. So you're going to get a good amount of movement. Swivel at the thigh. Two points of articulation right here at the knee. And you're gonna have like a hinge and peg system right here for the ankle, so you can get some really good ankle bends. And the driver can also move around if you really want, so if you wanna like have him, you know, pose with the finisher time or something like that, you can definitely do so. Now for accessories, he is gonna come with fists, some open hands, one gripping hand for accessories, and of course the L-shaped hand for his signature pose. And next he's going to have is the Jiken Gerido. I think, I'm pretty sure that's mispronounced like hell, but uh, yeah, it's basically a sword. So he can do different finishers with the sword and attach the different watches to it as well. And it's a pretty nice looking sword, but it also has another form. Now you are going to have the gun mode, which I don't think is that amazing. It, it kind of works okay-ish, but the way that it's angled into the hand, it, it, does, it just doesn't work. It's not going to have a good angle. It's fairly loose. Uh, the sword mode's a little more forgivable because I can I can kind of work it. Uh, but with this, I don't know, man. I just don't like the way it looks. So, yeah, I would probably just stick with the, the sword mode. That's my personal opinion. And it is going to come with a stand adapter, so you can just plop it right into the ass. And it's going to allow you to put him in the rider kick pose absolutely love it this is probably going to be the pose i'm going to keep mine in on my shelf but it looks amazing i i don't know i'm just a sucker for the rider kick i guess uh, other than that i mean you could do a lot of different other poses if you want it's really no no limits but yeah this is the pose i'm gonna go with but yeah other than that uh this thing is amazing looking i love it uh the feeling of it is great the build process was super simplistic it does have a lot of stickers, but I do think the pink in general can be painted and eh, the black can be painted that's on the visor. So 
Most of it can be replaced, I would say, except for the stuff on the uh, the blade and on the Ziku driver. But everything else, eh, I think you can go ahead and paint it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts, man. This is a really good pickup. Uh, you can probably get it for about $22. Bucks. Um, I would have to check and see if NewTypeHQ.com actually has these. Uh, but if they do, I'll link it in the uh, description down below. If not, then I would probably have to recommend you to some other store. But yeah, other than that guys, that's pretty much it for me. I really had a great time doing this video. Uh, just, it was fantastic. I absolutely loved it and I really wanna do more, but I wanna hear your comments, or I wanna read your comments and just see exactly what your thoughts are when it comes to Kamen Rider and doing Kamen Rider related content on this channel. But hey, that's all, that's all for me guys. I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.